Good evening. This is Ambassador David Friedman. Thank you so much for having me. It is a great honor to address you once again, even if on an iPhone. And I'm sorry I'm out of town and I apologize for the informality of this, uh, of this video. But nonetheless, I'd like to extend my deepest appreciation to Javier Knesset, Sharon Haskell, to Josh Reinstein, and to Dr. Michael Evans and all the members of the Knesset who have joined together in a nonpartisan effort to strengthen Israel's ties with the Christian community. During the COVID epidemic, many clergy have encouraged the reciting of Psalms to seek God's mercy. Upon my rabbi's recommendation, I try to say between five and 10 Psalms every day. One of the best known psalms that is said in a time of crisis is Psalm 130, which begins, Shir HaMa'alot Mimahakim Kratiha Hashem, out of the depths I have called upon the Lord. But if you forward ahead three stanzas, you get to Psalm 133, uh, which contains a few well-known verses that I'm sure all of you are familiar with. Hine matov umanoim, shevet achim gam yachad, how good and pleasant for brothers to dwell in unity. You all know the verse, and I'm sure that many of you know more than one melody by which this verse is popularly sung. Today, that message should resonate with us more than ever. We are in desperate need of unity, of a common ground and a common purpose. Israel, with all its advances, faces challenges like never before. It is the only nation that is still called upon to defend its right to exist. Whether from, from the far right or the far left, whether from radical Shia Islamists to radical Sunni, people who cannot agree on anything else seem to find common ground in attacking, vilifying, and ultimately seeking to destroy the Jewish state of Israel. But Israel, thank God, is not alone. In the Christian community, it has found true friendship, support, and trust. Hundreds of millions of Christian Zionists now stand proudly with Israel and collectively deliver an important and invaluable and un an unprecedented message. Simply put, they say, Israel, you are not alone. For Israel not to be alone, for hundreds of millions of Christian faithful to have Israel's back is something of enormous consequence. Never underestimate the importance of Christian Zionism. It played an important role in Israel's creation, and it continues to play perhaps an even more important role today the Friends of Zion Museum, founded by Dr. Evans, does a wonderful job in presenting this incredible phenomenon. As the world grows more and more fractured among those who can refuse to consider compromise and its due unity, the Knesset Christian Alliance does just the opposite. It seeks to unite millions of people along some basic and immutable principles. The miracle of Israel's birth, the fulfillment of prophecy in Israel's growth, and the singular importance of defending Israel against those who wish to do it harm. Tonight, you have brought Psalm 133 to life. How good and how pleasant, hine matov umanayim, for all of us, Christians and Jews alike, to sit in unity, in support of the State of Israel. May God bless all of you. May God bless Israel, and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much.